What's up everybody? Today's video is a little bit different than what I normally do on this channel. Today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips for working at home. This time is pretty crazy and a lot of people are having to work from home or having to go to school from home and do different things that they're not normally used to. Before I started teaching, I actually own my own business and I work from home. And these are the top 10 things that I learned that helped me improve my creativity and my workflow while I was working from home with all the distractions that's come along with that. So let's get into it. I like your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just Point number one is control the news that you take in. So there's a lot of crazy things going on in this world and the way we process the information that we're giving can control the outcome of how our day goes. So if we hear this negative thing from the news, it can completely destroy our entire day and it throws our whole entire workflow off. If it works best for you not to hear those informations until later, do that. And know that you're not always going to be able to control everything that goes on in this world. And we just got to roll with the punches and adapt to what we're learning and what is happening in this world right now. It's definitely crazy. <laughs> Tip number two, find your spot. So what you need to do is you need to find a location in your home, your office, wherever you are, whenever you're doing your homework, your schoolwork, your actual job. A lot of people are working from home right now. Find that spot. Don't just do it from your couch. Don't just do it in bed. Actually get up and find a location. Set it up where it's an actual workspace for you so that whenever you get there, you know that work has to be done. This is the spot that work gets done. Make sure you find that spot. This one I struggled with the most and whenever I nailed this, I had a great productive day. Have a morning routine. Set up a morning routine where you know exactly what you're going to do to get ready for your day. You know, have everything lined out, a list of things that you need to do. If you need to work out in the morning, if you need to journal, if you need to read, whatever it is, get yourself ready for the day before you have to start your job, before you have to start your schoolwork, whatever that you have to do that day. Have that morning routine that you know this is what's going to happen because whenever we go to school and we go to work, we're getting up and we're preparing ourselves and then whenever we get to those places of work or school or whatever it is, you are ready to go by that time, hopefully. Not always, but sometimes. You need to set that mentality up where that you know whenever you get there, you're ready to go and this is whenever you have to work. Don't just do it from your bed or your couch, whatever. You're not going to get anything done. Tip number four. This one seems kind of lame, but get dressed. It's amazing what it does to your psyche whenever you wake up and you actually put clothes on. Even like, like I'll wear khakis and like a t-shirt. I'm not going to wear like a suit and tie or button up or a polo or anything like that while I'm working at home. But if you have just that I'm actually ready for work mentality, you're going to get a lot more done. You're going to be a lot more productive. It's amazing what it does to your brain. I'm saying like, I would say close to 60% more productive if you get dressed in the morning. That one goes right along with three. But yeah, at the end of that morning routine, get dressed. Tip number five, work when it's time to work. This one seems kind of simple, but time management is huge and we waste so much time. And you can have so much time for spending time with your family, spending time with your relatives. It's coming up on the holiday season. This is the time to get your work done, get it out of the way so you know that you have that time to spend with family. And you're not taking breaks every 10 minutes looking at Instagram, TikTok, whatever you're into. You're not wasting time on those things every five minutes. You're actually getting your work done and then you have plenty of time to do whatever you want. Time management is huge. I'm not saying don't take a break. Every hour, take a good solid 10 minute break. But get back to work whenever it's time to work and get your stuff done. Schedule out your day so you know exactly what you're going to do and then be flexible with that schedule. You might not be able to get everything done that you wanted to get done and sometimes stuff is going to come up and you've got to do those things but make sure you get your schedule out there. Make sure you work when it's time to work. Tip number six, be aware of the temptation to work when you shouldn't be. For most of you, this is not a problem and 
I can tell you from the people I've met, most people are going to be okay with this. But there's some of you out there that are workaholics and you love to work all the time. And you don't schedule any time for family, for friends, for getting away from your computer screen. And you overwork yourself and you burn yourself out. Don't do that. Schedule out your day. Get your stuff done. Get it done in a timely manner. And then enjoy some of your day. Schedule out some time for yourself. You need that. You deserve that. This is a crazy time we live in. So don't be tempted to work when you shouldn't be. Tip number seven is real simple. Make time for loved ones. Show your family you love them. Spend some time with them. Enjoy time with family and friends. It's very important to show your family that you love them. Yes, you've been trapped in a house with them for months. Yes, we're going back into another lockdown where you're going to have to spend a lot of time with these people. Make time for them. Show them you love them. Very important. Tip number eight, connect with people face-to-face. -face. Pretty much what I'm saying is reach out to your friends. Don't just send them a text. FaceTime them. I know you can't really go out and be around a lot of people right now, but FaceTime your friends. Make a phone call if you don't have FaceTime. Connect with people more than just a text. Actually talk to these people. This is very important to connect with friends and to be able to have that friendship still because it's, you're not being able to see these people on a regular basis like you used to be. So if you could get on a Skype call with three to five of your best friends, do that. I do that once a week with my friends. And I'm telling you, it is very beneficial and it really helps keep me connected to my friends to make sure they're doing okay. Reach out to your friends, show them that you love them, show them that you care for them. And having that connection with another person rather than just texting them or sending an email, whatever you do, you actually have that human interaction and it gives you fulfillment. You need people in your life. Being isolated during a time like this is not good for anybody. So reach out to your friends, make sure they're doing good and show them some love. Tip number nine, set goals. Weekly, monthly, yearly, daily. Set goals. These things are very important. If you're wanting to get where you're not working for somebody else and you want to be working for yourself, set goals of how to get there. If you're working for a company and you have to get a project done by a certain time, set goals to get there. Goals are very important. Daily goals are awesome. I have ADHD, so I'm all over the place most of the time. So if I write down what I need to get done that day and make like a checklist where I can mark these things off, my day's a lot more productive. So set those goals, make a list, figure out how to get there, and take it one day at a time. You're going to mess up. Forgive yourself then do better the next day. And tip number 10 might be the most important thing that we talk about. Put your phone away. I'm the worst about this. I'm always watching YouTube videos. I'm always trying to see what somebody posted on social media. Put your phone away. It helps. You can't be productive if you're sitting there looking at your phone every 10 minutes. That's why you set those hourly breaks that I talked about earlier. Spend your time on your social media every hour. Text everybody back during those hours hour breaks. 10 minute break every hour. Don't take an hour break. Then that's just not productive. That's crazy. Those are the 10 tips that I got for you from working from home. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's different than what I'm normally doing whenever I'm talking about film and photography, but I thought this would be beneficial for this time that we're going through during this season. And if you got something from it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time.